I wanted to fly because I had been on the ground in Vietnam, and that sucked. So I wanted to avoid uh, all of that. And I did, except for the few times I got shot down, I was on the ground for a while. Of the 1,200 combat missions I flew, more than a thousand involved uh, long range reconnaissance patrols that the Rangers ran. And these poor bastards would go out in the jungle for a, a while by themselves and uh, they would smack Charlie in the nose and then they would call us and say, okay, come get us. No. Uh, we were sitting there minding our own business, thinking, let's hope that we don't get called tonight, and bam, the horn went off. This was a team of lurks that were controlled by Bob Elsner. Bob was either a Sergeant E-7 or a private, depending on who he had smarted off to. Uh, that, that night he was a private. And he said, well, we're in a rice paddy in a village south of Abgo Kong. And there's probably a hundred people in here with us. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. Uh, let's go down and see what we can find. So I, I located him with my radio beacon and uh, flew over him. And he said, okay, you're right directly overhead. He said, can you provide some artillery? And I said, no, not really, Bob, because I don't know where I am and I don't know what the coordinates are. But I know what the coordinates of that village are. I'll call and get some magnesium parachute flares over that village and it'll light up. And I'll come down low level and scoot across the ground and everything will be backlit. So that's what we did. And, uh, we turned loose 152 rockets and 16,000 rounds of minigun. Uh, they were still outnumbered 15 to 1, maybe 16 to 1. And I said, oh, uh, Bob, uh, do you have any Claymore mines? And he said, yes, got four. And I said, well, you're completely surrounded, and I want you to point two of your Claymore mines to the north, two on 135 degree azimuth. And when I say blow them, you blow them and run like hell. We're gonna blow a hole in that ring. And then the tactical operations center said, no, you don't pick them up. They're trained to escape and evade. And I said, there's no place for them to escape and evade too. Please stay off my radio. And, uh, so I said, you ready, Bob? He said, ready. So we went down. Uh, I shut out all the lights and landed in the dark. They were running in the direction they were supposed to run. But I noticed that only three of them were running. One of them kept lagging. And they were out of ammunition. So he had a bag of grenades and uh, he would drop back about every 50 feet and throw grenades at the North Vietnamese regulars. And then he would run another 50 or 60 feet and throw more grenades. And finally, we all arrived at the same hole in the mud and uh, they jumped on. And the patrol leader, Bob, and uh, the man in front was Gerald Patty from Maryville, Tennessee. They jumped on and smacked the side of the ship. And then Billy Kahn and Dave Hill jumped on the rocket pod and slapped the canopy. So I had the lights out and I just pulled the pitch and went up to a 1,500 foot hover. I called my uh, uh, co-pilot who sits right in front of you. And he said, we've got them. He said, what are you going to do with them, sir? I said, what do you want to do with them? We can't take them home. They'll freeze to death before we get them there because they're sopping wet. And you fly them at 150 miles an hour. They, they, 
they'd let they lose grip and fall off. He says, let's take them down to the water treatment plants. It's about three minutes down the river. We'll drop them off inside the fence, and then we'll go home. He said, but be advised, we've got a 20-minute fuel light that's on. <clears throat> okay, I said, how long has it been on? He said, about five minutes. I said, oh, man. So we're going to make a a 25 minute flight on 20 minutes worth of fuel, he said, in essence. I said, okay. So I landed and I used a, a light because I'd never been in there before. And they all rolled off and ran to the front of the ship and got out from under the rotor blade and they went to the fence and they all turned around which means we're okay, thank you. But that's, that's what we did. We, uh, we, we took care of the Lerps and, uh, and the Rangers.